What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions for this new Gangstar album called One of the Best Yet. Now Gangstar is a hip-hop duo made up of the rapper Guru as well as the producer DJ Premier and they have been active since the 80s where they've been coming out of Brooklyn, New York. They dropped plenty of great albums especially in the 90s where they're looked at as pioneers and legends in the hip-hop game and even still DJ Premier has been producing all these great classic tracks for plenty of our favorite artists man. He's one of the best producers out there and Guru as a solo artist had some good shit too. He had those Jazzmatazz albums which did provide some great moments back in the day so whether solo or together these two are legends in the game and certainly members of the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. Now there was all kinds of stuff that happened here, I'm not going to break it all down into great detail, but basically there was a bit of a falling out in the 2000s where Guru was battling with alcoholism, and then when he died in 2010, it became unclear who could work with his unreleased material. DJ Premier was trying to get this shit for quite a while now to release an album like this, so long story short, fast forward to 2019 where he got some of those verses and songs, and now we have this album here, which I honestly think is really dope, man. Everything here feels very personal and real, whether you want to talk about that intro where we're getting a live performance from Gangstar. Well, like, this is a clip, obviously, since Guru has passed on R.I.P., but they're just starting it off that way. It just feels very natural and organic. And there's an interlude from Guru's son, which goes to show you that the family's blessing went into this project. So I think that's pretty dope. But we're going to jump right into this project, man. And one of the main things that stuck out to me is how Guru's bars still hold weight in 2019. I mean, these were some verses that are probably from, like, 10 to 15 years ago and the shit he's rapping about still stands today so for example on the song so many rappers he's just rapping about how so many rappers come and go in the game whether they're not built for it mentally or skill wise among other things including industry politics there's also a great beat on here that builds very slowly with these horns and on business or art we're getting a nice follow-up track where guru and talib kweli are rapping about how sometimes the art of hip-hop gets lost in the business and bullshit of it we certainly see that today where artists are dropping these long bloated projects that aren't high quality just for the sake of streams. We also see these artists who aren't even really hip hop artists who are just being taken from like the Dr. Phil show and made into rappers and making all this money. They're kind of speaking on those politics and that nonsense and just how the art of hip hop does suffer as a result. So you're going to get some very traditional old head content here that might turn some people off, but I certainly think a lot of the stuff they're speaking on is valid. And even if you look at it outside of your own opinions in regard to the actual music, you can see the points that they're getting at. Even on the song Bad Name, he's spitting about the state of hip-hop at the time that he wrote his verse where there was beef media bullshit and money grubbing as he asks what if bling never happened and the true artists were getting rich from rapping on this one he's also speaking on how if tupac and biggie were still alive rappers might be on some better shit they wouldn't just be bullshitting out here so i just found it interesting how all these topics still hold weight in 2019 like i know i said that already but i just wanted to reiterate it because this is something that's been going on in hip-hop for a long time you kind of have the more underground guys who are speaking more for the art then you have the people who are making all this money and doing simplified hip-hop and myself i like a wide variety of hip-hop i actually liked a lot of the shit in the bling era when i was a young man coming up i like some of those bangers i like juvie i think juvie had some great tracks among many other artists but again i do think the stuff that they're saying here holds weight and it's pretty cool to see how these unreleased verses still hold weight this year and you know they really just fit in nicely with dj premier's production you're getting that quintessential sound from him with plenty of heavy drums string samples and key samples a lot of great beats on here as you would expect and it was just nice to hear Guru's smooth style again. He has that cadence and style that you automatically know it's him when you hear him. So very refreshing and this feels like a nice addition to their discography. Now to keep it moving, like there are some other topics on here. Most of it does revolve around hip hop, how he feels about hip hop, just that classic style shit. You are getting some hard content from Guru as well here. But the song Hitman is a standout to me because he's vividly painting a picture of a hitman, not talking about Bret Hart, talking about a murdering motherfucker like Richard Kuklinski. I think that's how you say his last name. He's painting a picture of a hitman over this heavy piano production from DJ Premier. Absolutely love that beat. I thought the bars provided a lot of imagery. You really can picture what he's saying. And you do get Q-Tip on here, but unfortunately he is just doing a hook. I would have loved to get a verse from Q-Tip since he's a legend as well. But even still, I like what he was doing on there with all the sound effects, kind of having fun with it, just keeping it funky. And there are some other great features on here as well. We have J-Ru with a damage delivering a great verse on From a Distance. This also has one of my favorite string samples on here. The string are just very light and warm kind of reminds me of that old moby song i forget which one it is the one that was on the beat soundtrack if you remember that movie those strings they just kind of sound like that to me then we get 
Freddy Fox snapping on Take Flight with lines like, Bitch niggas take flight when Bump pick up the mic. I write what rappers want to be like in real life. And of course, M.O.P. are clear standouts on the song Lights Out. Again, you're getting that quintessential key and string production from DJ Premier with drums that are heavier than Bastion Booger. And M.O.P. is coming through hard as fuck like they always do, man. I like what they were bringing on here. So Lil Fame had some of the hardest opening bars of all time when he spit. Yo, a wise man once said, fuck what a wise man said. Bitch, give me that bag, otherwise y'all dead. He's just kind of hearkening back to that Annie Up shit. And Billy Dance is backing up Guru's sentiments about the state of hip-hop throughout this album when he says, with no substance, ho shit by the abundance, your catalogs sound the same, you got one hit. So these bars line up with a lot of what we're hearing today where artists are making songs that sound the same. Sometimes you can't tell the difference between the songs. It's like they have one hit. Really like those lines on there, and it does tie in with the classic traditionalist vibe of this album, which is going on all throughout it. Now, of course, we also get crazy rhyme schemes from Royce of Five Nine on What's Real. I really like how he was flowing on this one, and he's also showing love to Guru's family just by speaking on how the money made from this can go back into his family to help them along the way. I thought that was really dope, just a way to pay tribute. And J. Cole fits in perfectly on family and loyalty. This also has one of my favorite beats. It just sounds like a winter dungeon or winter time in an RPG. Very light and kind of breezy, very cool beat. And Cole had some really great lines on here, like when he spits, from hip hop to astronomy, they copy what we showed them. Niggas be talking slick, but only try me over modems. Just speaking on how black people have paved the way for a lot of cultural ideas, whether you want to talk about slang, fashion, beyond that hip hop, all other music as well. Uh, and just saying how people talk shit on the internet, but that's all they do. So I don't have a lot of complaints with this album at all, man. Really, the only song I didn't love was Bring It Back. This just has a very frantic string sample, and it's a short guru verse, so it wasn't a song that stuck out to me. And even the song Get Together with Neo and Nitty Scott is pretty solid. At first, I did feel like it kind of felt out of place because it's just a lovey-dovey relationships type of track, but it really did grow on me, and I love that beat, man. That beat is just very, very whimsical, kind of fun, so that one grew on me, and that is still a pretty good track but I would put bring it back as my least favorite and I'm gonna go with a four out of five here man this is a really dope project you can tell Primo put his love and heart into this I was reading that he even had Guru's ashes nearby while they were working on this just to kind of tie in that spiritual vibe that was very cool so yeah, I'm really happy with this because with a lot of posthumous releases, you kind of get worried about how the shit's going to sound. We've seen unreleased tracks and verses get pasted and thrown together for guys like XXXTentacion. Tupac, of course, this has happened for years and it, you know, it doesn't always come out that well, but this feels like a very solid collection of tracks. Fits nicely in their discography and it just feels authentic, man. This feels like some Gangstar shit. So if you're a fan of Gangstar, you're going to like this. If you're not familiar with Gangstar, definitely check out that back catalog. They got plenty of great music. And this is a nice addition, so 4 out of 5 feels fair to me, that's all I gotta say. Primo on the beats, hitting you with that classic sample based shit. Guru dropping knowledge, spitting wisdom, and just speaking from beyond the grave about the state of hip-hop. Really dope shit. But you guys hit me up in the comment section with your thoughts, because I always want to know how you feel. And of course, make sure you do that good YouTube and social media stuff, where you show me love, and you show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.